One of the oldest buildings in LA has an intriguing history. Tonight, our Desmond Shaw is taking a look at the Pico House. What was once one of the grandest buildings in the city has been transformed time and time again. I'll take a look at this interesting old building on the edge of downtown LA. This is the Pico House, one of the oldest buildings left in the city of Los Angeles. Built in 1870 by Pio Pico, he was the last Mexican governor of Alta, California. After leaving office, he was pretty successful in cattle ranching and in real estate and wanted to build the most luxurious hotel in Southern California. He actually enlisted the first professional architect in Los Angeles history, Ezra F. Kaiser, according to KCET, to build this beautiful Italianate Victorian structure with 80 rooms, 21 parlors, a fancy French restaurant in the courtyard. It had gas lighting and running water. Pretty big deal at the time. It was actually the tallest building in L.A. when it opened as well. And it seemed to be pretty successful. It was booked every night of the week as people flocked to Los Angeles. So popular that they had to actually secure hotel rooms off-site to try to meet the demand. But despite all of this, Pico actually lost the hotel to bank foreclosure. He had spent $80,000 to build it, mega money back then. It sold at auction for only $16,000. By this point, Pico had lost most of his fortune to gambling, uh, scams, and bad business moves. And on top of all that, uh, the business climate began to shift in downtown Los Angeles away from historic Alvera Street to the south and the west. And by the early 20th century, what was once the grandest hotel in town uh, degraded into something of a flop house. It was in horrible disrepair until the state of California stepped in and bought it in 1953. They poured a lot of money into renovations, declared it a historic landmark. Uh, despite all that, not much has been going on with the Pico House for the last couple of decades. It's been in sort of a state of limbo. It really only kind of used for the occasional movie shoot or business meeting or uh, official function. It's really kind of a sad metaphor for the life of Pio Pico, who had made a fortune and then died in abject poverty at the age of 93. And so here sits his namesake. Here's to hoping that something cool happens with this grand old building in the historic downtown Los Angeles right here off the 101 freeway. It's the Pico House, one of the oldest buildings in LA. Taking a look at this from SkyCal, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, just write us at lookatthis at cbs.com.